Okay, Mercedes W208. Uh, I'm pretty sure this applies to the 210. Um, any model, uh, the 203, if you've got the dual zone climate control, not with the knobs, the, the, the knobs are, are a different setup, but this is the digital one uh, with, again, uh, left and right zones. Um, so what I'm going to do is, ch is how to test if there's a problem in your uh, AC system, your heater or air, air conditioning system, the climate control, how to check for an electrical fault. Um, so this will be something like an, an air temperature sensor, a refrigerant pressure sensor. This one I've set up so that it, it will display the dual valve. I just unplugged the dual valve under the hood. So this is going to show a code, an error code in the dual valve. So the way you do that is you turn your key to ignition, uh, uh, the ignition key to position two without the, uh, turning the engine on. You set the left side to high, right side to low. So as you can see, it's high and low. And then simultaneously, you're going to press EC and rest and hold them in until the red, the uh, recirculate light starts flashing. Now you may have to do this a couple of times because sometimes it doesn't read that you've pushed them both at the exact same time. If it, uh, oh, we'll try it this time. If it doesn't do it, you just have to turn your ignition key off, then to the on position again without starting again, and try it all over again. But if you don't push the exact both buttons at the exact same time, it doesn't like to work. It goes into another mode, that mode, which I will show in another video. I'm going to try this all over again. Ah, it has to be started with the EC button off. The EC button cannot be on when it starts this. Sorry, beeping. Shut up. Quiet. Thank you. If you don't hit both of these at the exact same time, it, it doesn't like doing it. There we go. Okay, so I let go. And I press out of your way here, auto. The E code will come up meaning error. Push again. For some reason, fan speed goes to high, but then it's going to start showing the codes. E, uh, E61 means that there's a, a problem with the duo valve. 418 is left duo valve, I think. Auto 417, right duo valve. I unplugged both under the hood, so I do know that that's correct. There was uh, a duo valve problem. Now to reset this, you just have to push again to see if there's any more codes. When it shows E and FF, that means you've gone through all the codes. Hopefully you can see this. Maybe the light's blinding. I'm going to turn the light, light off. So you've got E and FF displayed. That means all the codes have been displayed. So now you can reset it. And you reset it by pressing both auto buttons at the same time. And then E shows. So now you've reset them. There should be no more codes. Hey! Why did you do that? Scroll, scroll, EFF. <laughs> That's supposed to reset. Why aren't you resetting? <laughs> okay. E. FF. Okay. So it's reset. It's just showing every time I hit auto, it should scroll if there's a code available. But it's showing there are no codes. So it's been reset. So basically, I turn my car on and off again, and everything's back to normal. Um, and that's about it. I will display, um, there'll be a list in the description under the video uh, of all the codes. So when you read the codes, the 418, 417, I'll have all the codes listed under there. So you can see what the problem is and find uh, that list of codes. Um, Anyway, any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to, to ask them in the comments section. I get back to them as soon as possible. Um, I'm also going to be doing a video on checking all the vents opening. That's kind of a complex one. It's a bit of a bitch to do and a very long description. So I'll be doing that hopefully tonight if I get a chance. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps.